Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a quick update for my Panda Palette Challenge this year. And if you're new to my channel, I am panning the chocolate bar from Too Faced this year. And for some reason it is it is uh, crooked now. Can you see? It's not even anymore, so it is used. I'm panning this. I'm trying to hit pan on all the shades from this palette because it is a harder palette, for sure. And there are some very big changes to this palette this month so i'm so excited to show you guys so i will insert a picture from last month or last update so this is where i am now okay the biggest change is that i have made a new franken shadow down here that is these three shades combined so i am halfway done with all of these three. This has become a beautiful covery shimmer shade that I am using all over my eyelid and I really really enjoy that. It's just I have made this Franken shade because I just didn't like these on their own. I made a small Franken shadow of these two and um, some of Creme Brulee together and that was so beautiful and I loved it and this time around, this is darker than that color because I have more of hazelnut and hot chocolate in it and not as much as Cambolin. I don't mind, it is beautiful and I'm using it and I am so happy. Other than that, I have repressed white chocolate together with uh, strawberry bonbon, so that is over here. I'm going to insert a picture of how it looked like when I repressed it and it was it was completely full of the pan and now I'm halfway done with that shade, so that is really exciting. Another change is that I have hit pan on triple fudge right there. I have used that shade a lot in my eyebrows and that is how I hit pan on it. It is a miniature pan but it is still panned and I'm very excited about it because it's so dark so I don't know how I'm going to use that up. Maybe as an outer corner very lightly and in my brows but I have so many brow products I want to use so <laughs> I don't really want to multitask it more than necessary but I hit pan on that one and can you see that? It pan on your cordial. Mm. I'm so excited about this pen. And that means I only have Black Force Truffle to hit pen on. And I have October, November and December to hit pen on that. And I actually think I can do that. Um, I need to play around with it how I like uh, I look best with it. I have done it a lot. Um, a lot. <laughs> not, not, not every day, you know. But I have used it a few times in my outer corner and I have used it a few times on my eyelid with some orange in the crease. And uh, I think that is my preferred way to use that shade because it's really dark but the glitter don't. I have a hard time getting the glitter to show up. But I really want to hit pan on that by next update. I'm crossing my fingers that I can. I know I don't have pan on gilded ganache but I gave up on that shade months ago. I have used that uh, to set my eye primer. Was. I used that in my crease a few times, a lot of fact actually, um, on all over the eyelid a few times in my eyebrows most of the past month. Yeah, I this is this has expanded as well. I am using salted caramel in my crease all the time. <laughs> More than milk chocolate over here. Marzipan I have used a few times on my eyelid. Nothing major, I want to focus on this shade more. After I hit pan on Chia Cordial, I have moved on to Semi Sweet. Oh my god, I have I don't have pan on that either. Why did I say that before? But I need to have pan on that one, so I am working on that now in my outer corner. So that is going to be the hardest to hit pan on of this one and Black Forest Truffle, believe it or not. Because that is very hardly pressed as well. Candied Violet I haven't used. I haven't used Amaretto, I have swatched it because I duped the gingerbread uh, palette. Hazelnut, creme brulee and hot chocolate I have repressed into this one, so I have used that one instead of these three. Other than that, I have used uh, creme brulee uh, a lot. Um, Chia Cordial I have hit pan on and then my Franken shade I have used all over my eyelid. That is my update for 
my palette this year i'm really really excited about it and i hopefully can hit pen on the last two shades by the end of the year and i am most likely going to be working on this next year as well not in a panda palette but unofficially because i really want to use it up and i don't want it to sit in my collection because i don't love it as much as as I thought I would, uh, or I did in the beginning. It is very brown. It is definitely a Neutrals Brown Lovers OG palette. So yeah, of course uh, my camera don't want to record anymore any. So. I'm going to charge my battery and then uh, I will film another video after that. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying my Panda Palette series this year. I have really been enjoying planning this, even though I have been complaining a little bit about it uh, so far. I have a hair in my... But I, again, I have really been enjoying it and I am looking forward to trying to be moving it out of my collection next year because Let's be honest, I can't finish this whole palette in 3 months. But I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Give it a like if you liked it, subscribe down below so don't miss out on my next update or any other panning videos that I am doing. And yeah, other than that, I just hope you guys will take care until my next video. Bye!